So, the 2017 New England Patriots season, well, regular season, has come to a close. And overall, you know, obviously they had a home game at Gillette Stadium, which, by the way, shout out to Bill Belichick for putting a thermometer on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> making sure that uh, the Jets knew how cold it was. Now you're probably thinking, wait a minute, the Jets play in New York. They know how cold it is. It's like 13 degrees right now. And uh, goodness, uh, you know, New York right now. So thinking of uh, Times Square, that's what I'm thinking of pretty far right now. <laughs> I'm not drunk yet. <laughs> Anyways, so they put, you know, Patriots usually do well in cold weather, especially this season. I think they only lost like one game when it's like below freezing or something crazy. Uh, but the Patriots uh, win this one 26 to 6. And I know some people are going to be looking at the stats. They're going to be looking at Tom Brady's stats. going to be like, dude, Tom Brady was only 18 for 37 for 190 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, Brady as a late hasn't been, you know, Brady himself. Uh, but you guys remember with this win, uh, the Patriots clinch uh, home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Thanks for the Steelers putting up their backups. And even with the backups, they still beat the Cleveland Browns, which, by the way, congratulations to the Cleveland Browns having a perfect season, 0-16. And the Sean Kaiser is still the answer for you guys, right? Yeah, okay. But anywho, uh, and I like the Browns. You know, I'm not trashing on the Browns. Just, you know. But uh, Patriots finished the regular season being 13-3. and uh, I remember some people thought the Patriots were going to be 16-0 and uh, during the season. I just thought that was a complete utter whack. Uh, I think that they're going to be 16 and 0. I predicted somewhere between 14 and 2 or 13 and 3. I think with the tough schedule, I think I said actually no. I I said 13 and 3. No, I said 14 and 2 to begin, and then I looked at the schedule, and I was like, okay, I see a few losses here, so it's probably going to be 13 and 3 or 12 and 4. So I was right. You know, I said 13 and 3. I got one of those predictions right. So yeah. But yeah, Tom Brady, uh, 18 for 37, a couple touchdowns, 190 yards. Deion Lewis, uh, 26 carries, Phew. 93 yards and a touchdown. I did not know he had that many carries. I know he had the ball quite a bit, but dang. Uh, Brandon Cooks was the leading receiver, five receptions, 79 yards, including a touchdown. And Deion Lewis also had another touchdown, this time a receiving touchdown. So he had two on the day. And James Harrison, <coughs> excuse me a moment. James Harrison, I mean, this guy is looking. He looked like the old James Harrison. He looked like the guy that whenever the Patriots were facing uh, the Steelers, whether it was at home or Pittsburgh, whatever, this was the James Harrison I was scared of. This was the James Harrison that would come out of nowhere and knock your teeth out. You know what I mean? So it was cool to see James Harrison uh, get a couple tackles. Uh, He also got a couple sacks too, I believe. Yes, he did. So, you know, it's finally good to see the Patriots for the first time since training away both Chandler Jones and Jimmy Collins that they actually have a consistent pass rusher. Hallelujah. Even though he's, like, old, but I'll take it. I mean, one-year rental, I don't care. You know, maybe if he doesn't retire and continues to play well, maybe another next year. Who knows? Uh, so, yeah, that's it for the Patriots. Now, the Jets. The Jets looked awful in this game. Uh, now, granted, you know, people say, well, Bruce Putty had more passing yards than Tom Brady. Ooh. Brian Hoyer came in this game. That's how much the Patriots cared about this one. <laughs> but anywho, uh, they obviously need to draft a quarterback in the draft. There's no question about it. I know Josh McCown looked good this season. I wouldn't cash in on him. I know he's a free agent after this season. So he only gave him like a one-year deal. So the Jets, I mean, you still have faith in Josh McCown, I suppose. Go for it. But i draft a quarterback if I was you. <laughs> Uh, even though <laughs> I saw from the bowl games, these top QB prospects are not looking that great. Uh, Bale Powell, 13 carries, 46 yards. Uh, the reading, reading receiver was, who in the world is this? Sterling? Mm, five receptions for 74 yards. And obviously they got a couple of field goals. Two for three was Ken Zaro. Yeah, Ken Zaro, two for three. As someone who's watched plenty of Arizona Cardinal games, that sounds about right. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it uh, for the Jets. I mean, this is pretty much a blowout. I mean, 20 points, 26 to 6. And I know people are going to be going, you know, again, excuse me one moment. <coughs> uh, there we go. I know people are going to be going, wait a minute, Chris. Tom Brady didn't play well. You guys are screwed. Not necessarily. Because even though I obviously want Tom Brady to do well, whenever the running game is going well, as it did, did nearly 100 yards rushing, and the defense plays well, 
Brady is not all that a necessity. I mean, he doesn't need, I mean, obviously, you know, don't turn the ball over and whatnot, but, you know, if he just gets a couple of touchdowns, doesn't matter how many yards he's thrown, still good enough for the win. You gotta remember, it's the playoffs go through in the AFC, at least, obviously, through Gillette Stadium. So, Brady and company don't have to worry about traveling, unless, you know, they make it to the, obviously, the Super Bowl or go to Minnesota. So, you know. Defense played well. And by the way, too, I am so tired of people saying, oh, this defense is terrible. It's terrible. You guys want to know how many points the Patriots have allowed defensively in the last, like, I don't know how many weeks. I think it's uh, the last 12 games. They've averaged allowed 12.8 points per game. Yeah, that defense is so horrible. How dare they allow 12.8 points per game? <laughs> In the last 12. Now, granted, I know the first four weeks was like, it was a nightmare. All right, that was just, I don't know what was going on there. Obviously, they've eventually got it through. <clears throat> and I'm tired of two people saying, oh, well, you know, the Patriots don't usually have a, a tough schedule. Uh, they had some, to face some pretty good quarterbacks last time I checked on their schedule. And plus, you got to remember, they're in the AFC East. Who else is there in the AFC East at the quarterback position? Like Tyrod Taylor? Decent quarterback, not great. And then that's pretty much it. I mean, Ryan Tannehill's all right at times. And who's playing for the Jets? Bryce Petty? I mean, Christian Hackenberg. If I was him, I'd feel bad right now because I'd be like, you don't think I can do better than this? You know what I mean? But anywho, um, that's about pretty much it for this one. Uh, since the Patriots have a bye week, I could make a video this upcoming Thursday. You're probably thinking, well, why would you make a video? The Patriots don't have a game this week. Probably a prediction of the wild card, both on the NFC and the AFC, just for kicks. You know, it's been a while since I did predictions on YouTube. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. But anyways, phew. I bought them Browns, though. 0-16, let the parade begin. <laughs>